Hi everybody, um, just giving you an update. Um, I've been asked numerous times about this layout. It's um, 10 foot by six foot one, um, which I've made. Uh, I made it about three years ago and, and people seem to put this video up on YouTube um, a while ago with them running and uh, on my Hombi um, trains running. Um, and people seem to like this layout. Um, it's not meant for any kind of plan. It's just like a, a 10 foot, six foot board that I, I, I initially put down. And then I put as much kind of track on it to run as many trains as I possibly can at one time. Um, people seem to like it, like I say. So people have asked me for a, a track plan of it. So I'm just going to try and do you know, a quick video just to see how... Uh, see kind of what I worked out, what I've actually used, because I've had to cut a few bits. Don't get us wrong, but most of it is actually just well, most of it, well, it all is Hornby standard set track, um, which I've used. There's nothing complicated in it at all. Um, I mean, that's the kind of the, the the layout that you can see there, as as kind of views as best I can at the moment. So, but uh, I'll go through some of the track that I've used and where to kind of get the, the main shape. I'll just start down in the far corner. Um, on the outer loops uh, I've used, I haven't used any, we'll start with the with crossings. They're just crossings that I've actually made up. Um, we've got through there, we've got R601s, which are the straight ones, which are going into the tunnel, which will go, I'll go around the layout and then I'll come back to that. But um, yeah, they're the 601s and they've just used just use normal kind of lolly sticks to uh, make up a crossing. And on the outside loops here, uh, here, these are the R8261 of Hornby, and the inner ones are 609, um, which are coming on, that's for the outer loop on this curve. And again, on the inner, inner, inner loops, these are R609s, and these are 607s. Because um, I didn't want to use anything smaller than the 607 or the 605 because they're a bit too tight so I've followed the round and then on the outside loop these are just the Hornby standard express points um, which take you in to the long straight we've got another set of points there and then we've got along the along the main straights of these drags here we've got R603s uh, we've got one of those, we've got 601s, and then 600, just to make everything fit in, into the, into the, um, into the layout. Um, again, it's not a symmetrical track, so it's different on both sides. So, what I've done, again here, we've got, come into another set of um, Hornby Express points, then it comes straight into a curved, right hand point and we're making we've got it's um got the r609 and then this is where on this kind of junction here this is where it got a bit complicated i don't know why i've actually used the standard um hornby set points because i've got as you can see here these are the express points and then coming into the set track points. I mean, these to me, I don't know why, I, I've, I've used them purely to make it fit into the layout. If I'd have used the express points there, I wouldn't have had enough room to get for the curvature that I needed for what I wanted to do. Um, the in, starting back over again, the inside loops, again, just to get me a, a third platform, or well, three platforms in, but coming around on the 609 and the 607, and then it's, it, I made it come round, so I managed to get um, an R was it six or six in here, got two of those. Then I've had to cut um, a couple of R six hundreds in half. I only do in half because uh, other than that, it gets too complicated, and I'm not I don't do kind of anything that's going to measure in that's going to. It's just too gets too complicated. But other than that, but I'm, I'm, the the R, half of the R six hundreds was enough to just boost what I needed to do. 
so it has a kind of a nice gap between the inside and the outside layers uh, tracks going going round again this is how I'm fitting the platform in so I've got the I've used R six or threes on here and then an R six hundred and then half half of an R six hundred on there. Um, and then this brings you back into the 606, which is bringing you back in for the, uh, we've got two R 606s in there, uh, just to make, to make the kink, so I could get the, the island platform in with the underground. Um, so yeah, so it's, then we used again on the, bringing us back round to the inside loop, these are six or nines and six or sevens, which is bringing you back round into all this complicated. <laughs> to be honest, I mean everything on here is electric. All the points all been built in underneath, um, but it's not something I I, we, I really use. I mean I wouldn't want to show you underneath the layout because there's that many wires on, on underneath it. It's uh, truly a, a, an amazing and it would probably upset a lot of people <laughs> how I've actually done the wiring but it's um it's just my way of doing it and there's just good you know good thing we had cable ties anyway put it that way um but yeah so we've got a managed to got an R607 in here and again 609 come into a couple of a couple of R600s and again an R607 and a 609 to bring us back into um the back of the layout as you can see again it's coming the section onto the onto the viaducts that I have it's um there's nothing nothing special again it's just there's a couple of bits i had to cut to make fit again here just there's a half as r600 again like i say it's just rather complicated the only one i actually did um there's a couple of little bits I had to put in, which were very small, just to make the just to make the uh, spacing right in here. Um, but then they got the the little short um, section of oh, I can't remember the number now. But um, but yeah, I think I had to cut that. I had to cut that section. That was the only bit I had to cut on it. A uh, smaller than um, the half of the R six hundred. Um, and I hope you're following this because I mean it's it's I mean it's been it's four three years three and a half years since I made this and like I said I never went from any kind of plan I just made everything kind of a everything everything fit. Um, so yeah, we've got um, again it's the I think we've got another half I've got another half of an R six hundred in there. Um, and we've got our six on six or nines and six or sevens to bring it onto the back of the layout. And then again, it just went a bit um, crazy just to get another. I just wanted to get another platform, and I wanted to use the both types of Metcalf models stations, uh, the country one and the main line station that they actually had at the time. And because uh, I obviously like the look of the both, and I just ended up putting a section here to um to accommodate that so i've got any putting three lines in so i've got three rods so obviously you can store more trains and then again it's just not more set track points um again everything is just standard hornby which you can just buy from the shop and nothing's been specially made up or anything like that obviously again it's the cutting but it was it's literally halves of the r600 the short and straight which I've done. Um, but then, yeah, we've got a bit of a complicated section which was going into there, but again, everything's electrically um, put motors underneath. And the, across the across the viaduct here, I end up obviously putting that in. It's a bit like lacks a daisy, but it's, you don't see, I don't, I don't, you don't really see it apart from to get the, get another train across. I mean, it was a bit, I mean, it, it, it works. And I probably could have done with finishing it off a bit more nicely, but it, it, it is what it is, and I've got what I've done, um, and it works fine. And we're, then we're coming on to the, the section, because obviously on, 
on it's on two different it's on a different different layer here is the viaduct because it won't on wanted to put it off a bit so you could actually see the trains going across it and give the impression there's kind of probably water underneath or some kind of valley uh, and then we're going into the tunnel section and we've got three obviously the three tunnels there and the extra one here for the high high one which is all covered over and we've just got the the elevated tr look inside it's I can't honestly remember what I've used. It's the 609, 607s in here. Um, but we just got the elevated track platforms for the, uh, just to raise it up as a gentle gradient. I didn't want to do too much of a gradient because obviously the, if you put the trains pulling a load, it will not hardly go up if you do it all wrong. So just as shallow as I possibly can, uh, just to get that little bit of height in there. But I've, I mean, there's got a cut, there's a, I mean, there's an R600 in there, a little bit of a straight one. Uh, but the rest of them is just 607s or the 609s. Uh, there might be an 8261 in there as well. But I, I'm not sure because, uh, like I say, I never went with a plan. I just just got the board and made everything fit and then adjusted it to make it fit to get as much as I possibly could in. Again, it's just, it's just normal straight sections. There's nothing special about it. It's just purely getting as much in for the track I had because I, I, I accumulated quite a lot of track over the years and uh, this was my kind of finale of making one. I don't know if you've ever seen my other, I've, if anybody's had a look at my other videos because uh, I've made quite a few train sets in my time and I had a lot of spares and this one was for the kids in the garage when we moved house to my finale train set for them. I mean it does get used but not very often. Um, Come and have a tinker now and again just to make sure it's right. But it's up in the garage. Um, and then if we come in here, people come round, friends come round, uh, they always want to go. You know what I mean? It's just, just it just is bring the kids round and we all have a bit of an enjoyment sometimes, but it only lasts five, ten minutes. But I mean, <laughs> I just, I like, I'm a, a bit of a scenery guy. I like doing all the scenery. Uh, I like the Metcalf models. And, uh, that's what I wanted to do, kind of a bit of a showcase for me doing the, the Metcalf models because they're all pretty, you know, as far as I was concerned, they're the best on the market, but that's just me. And there's lot, obviously lots of other stuff out there, but the amount of Metcalf models I've actually made over the past few years, we're probably talking five, six hundred, quite easy. Um, done things for friends and families and stuff, so, but yeah, that is kind of, the, the plan of the layout but not plan if you know what I mean uh, it's just one of them things the model you just like you like doing and then you just tinker with it um, and uh, yeah there we go so it'll be kind of understood a bit of the layout I mean like I say I've got <laughs> this is kind of what I've actually done but it's it's just trying to help people out for the best they can because I've had some great comments about this layout and uh, thoroughly enjoyed making it over the time, over the uh, the time it took me, which wasn't actually very long because I got my head down, and I managed to have some time off work, and I ended up doing it in about it was done in a couple of months. I mean that might seem crazy to some people, but I just I just ended up having kids at school, and then fired away, got myself in here for quite a few hours every day, and then tinkering around with it. But, um, but yeah, I hope you. Kind of a bit more informative for some people, but like I said, nothing special. There's nothing, nothing overly complicated about it all. It's just all everything is just all Holmby standard uh, track, and uh, and just then just a couple of cut bits where I've just made everything. It's just make everything everything fit to the board that I had. And if my choices were different again, I would kind of do it different. But only this section here. I would put more of the um, express points in because they run t tons better through there as opposed to trains running through here because there's always seems to be problems if you're running away coaches, trucks, um, even the engines. But they just they just come off if you if you've not got them done up properly, um, flat as a pancake. And but I don't know what the what the issue is there, but that's just. A lot of my engines seem to do it, but then again, some of them, some of them don't. It's just uh, 
one of those things you got to tinker with and get right. So yeah, I hope you've um, liked the kind of bit of information about the video, but uh, my layout. But uh, if anybody gets anything from it, any inspiration, I'll be, I mean, you know, everybody's going to be chuffed to bits. Put the put the um, everybody likes that. Yeah? A couple of um, mirrors in there, which came with some wardrobes, which he ended up putting in because it just. <laughs> it made the layout look quite good. I didn't want to fancy take them in the car to the tip because the way I turned, so it looked kind of that factor where it's kind of a double layout, <laughs> but obviously not. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit of good fun in it, and it and it helps with uh, making it look uh, a bit bigger. But yeah, so yeah, fine. Sorry for wittering on. I so hope you liked it. Uh, so fingers crossed it inspired some people. But uh, if any comments below, I'd be uh, more than appreciate. <laughs> I know it was a bit higgledy jiggledy listening to my voice all this time, but uh, but hey ho, that's what needs must. People want to get uh, introduced into the uh, hobby. Thanks so much indeed. Cheers. Bye.